Salut, c'est Géraldine, bienvenue sur Comme une Française TV, Sound French, Even to the French. A cliché of France is our sense of fashion. It's true, we have many high-end clothes designers and firms, but on the other hand, for many of our day-to-day -day clothes, we actually use English words, or at least words that sound like the English language, but whose meaning have changed in the journey. So how much have we twisted these words? And for which clothes? What's a jogging in France? Well, let's dive in. A sweat in France is a sweatshirt. Most French people pronounce the word incorrectly saying un sweat, un sweat. Its fabric is thicker than a t-shirt, so it keeps you warm. And with une capuche, une capuche, a hood, it becomes un sweat à capuche, un sweat à capuche, a hoodie. Le t-shirt is very popular in France, of course. The French word for it used to be le maillot de corps, le maillot de corps, back when it was only used as underwear. Nowadays, we only use the English word instead. Most t-shirts have des manches courtes, des manches courtes, short sleeves, but they're also un t-shirt à manches longues, un t-shirt à manches longues, a t-shirt with long sleeves. A normal shirt with buttons and a collar is called une chemise, une chemise. Le pull, le pull, short for un pull au vert, is a sweater for winter. It's often made of wool, la laine, la laine. Technically, you could use the French words le chandail, le chandail, or le tricot, le tricot for a sweater, but these are very old-fashioned and you will sound like a grandmother, which can be great in some situations, but it may not necessarily be what you're going for. And jogging, un jogging is a very weird word. It's mostly used for the pants of le survêtement, le survêtement, which means the track suit. This is why we also call them le pantalon de jogging, le pantalon de jogging, sweatpants. But the word also comes from the sport, le jogging, le jogging, which is what people call running when talking about the fitness exercise. We also call it le footing, le footing, which is even weirder. The verb itself would be faire un jogging, faire un jogging, or faire du jogging, faire du jogging, meaning to go for a run, while wearing a jogging, of course. Un jean, un jean in France is a pair of jeans. The fabric itself, the denim, is also called le jean in French. For instance, a denim jacket is une veste en jean, une veste en jean. It sounds the same as un jean, un jean, a glass of jean, but it's totally different from un Jean, un Jean, a guy with the French male name Jean. For instance, les gens qui s'appellent Jean portent parfois des jeans. Les gens qui s'appellent Jean portent parfois des jeans. People called Jean sometimes wear jeans. Un slip, un slip is the French for briefs. This word is mostly referring to men's underwear. Women would rather use the word une culotte, une culotte. The arch enemy of a slip is le caleçon, le caleçon, the boxer short. There is a popular expression with that type of underwear. C'est la fête du slip. C'est la fête du slip, or literally is the brief sporty. It has the same use as c'est la fête. It's a party that's often used ironically or in the negative. It's a colorful metaphor that means something along the lines of there's no rules being enforced anymore. It's used when people are slacking or losing discipline or when someone is being overly rude and breaking the rules of politeness. Calmez-vous, c'est pas la fête du slip. Calmez-vous, c'est pas la fête du slip. Be quiet, we're not in anarchy. The expression can also be used to mean something great, like it's a bee's knees, and most often than not, it's used in the negative. Bon, on n'a pas perdu, mais c'est quand même pas la fête du slip. Bon, on n'a pas perdu, mais c'est quand même pas la fête du slip. Well, we haven't lost yet, but it's still not a great situation. 
Le string is the word we use in France to mean a thong or a g-string for women, or men as well. The English word string is la ficelle instead. This underwear has its own French popular expression too, of course. Être tendu comme un string. Être tendu comme un string, which means literally to be tense like a thong. It's a synonym for être tendu. Être tendu, to feel tense or on edge, but with a more striking metaphor. Tu devrais t'arrêter de t'en faire en ce moment, t'es tendu comme un string. Tu devrais arrêter de t'en faire en ce moment, tu es tendu comme un string. You should stop worrying these days, you're being really nervous. Le smoking, or in English the tuxedo, is the polar opposite of le string. It's une tenue de soirée. Une tenue de soirée, evening wear. It's more formal than le costume, le costume, the suit, also called le complet, le complet. Women can wear tuxedos as well, but more often they choose la robe de soirée, la robe de soirée, the evening gown. In a professional setting, though, we would often wear un tailleur, un tailleur, a skirt suit instead. Kawe, Kawe is a famous brand of windbreakers that was founded by a Frenchman in the 60s. Their product was so popular that nowadays many people will use the word un kawe for un coupe vent, un coupe vent, any windbreaker. It can also be used for a light, un imperméable, un imperméable, or un imper in everyday French, a raincoat. And it's pronounced with a French accent, un kawe, un kawe. And as French comedian Danny Boone pointed out in a famous bit that you will find in the video description, that coat has traumatized many children who have had to wear it, since its hood can be very impractical for complicating things such as turning your head to the left. Et toi, did you know these words at all already? Which other weird anglicisms do you know? Do you use French words for clothing in your own country? Tell me in the comment section, I would love to hear from you. If you're on YouTube, you will find a link below this video to the blog communefrancaise.com. On the site, I read and answer all the comments and all the questions as well. If you want more, subscribe now to join my Everyday French Crash Course. It's a free 10-day mini course to sound French, even to the French. It's super easy to join. Leave me your first name and your email and you will receive lesson one immediately. And it's free. Merci for watching Comme une Française TV, sound French, even to the French. Allez, salut